Today we are reporting an additional 57 cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of cases in Alberta to 5,893. Of these, 3,219 people have now recovered. Since my last update, we have also confirmed two additional deaths in the province. This brings the total number of lives lost to 106. I extend my condolences to all those affected by these deaths, as well as anyone grieving the loss of a loved one from any cause. As of today, there are now 622 COVID-19 outbreak cases in continuing care facilities across the province. I would also like to confirm that Alberta Health Services has retained age care to oversee administration of Millrise Seniors Village in southwest Calgary. This change in administration is a result of challenges in staffing levels at the facility over the past few weeks, as well as concerns over how the facility has managed outbreak protocols during a COVID-19 outbreak at the site. AHS will support the site's day-to-day -day operations in collaboration with Age Care and will continue to support staffing as this transition occurs over the coming days. We will continue to monitor and evaluate the site staffing levels on an ongoing basis and we will work to ensure residents and staff are safe. I would like to reiterate that continuing care facilities remain a priority and we will continue to closely monitor all active outbreaks. We will take additional actions as necessary to protect the health and well-being of the residents and staff working in these settings. In High River, there have now been 949 cases at the Cargill Meatpacking Plant. Of these, 810 have recovered. There have also been 487 confirmed cases among workers at the JBS plant in Brooks. At the Harmony Meatpacking Plant, there have been 36 cases identified. And I want to emphasize that part of this case number is related to the outbreak management tool of testing asymptomatic workers. Almost one third of these cases were found by offering testing to those who have no symptoms, which enables quicker case management and contact tracing. AHS is working closely with Harmony to limit spread. It is important to be able to respond rapidly to these situations and I want to acknowledge the work of all those who are responding to outbreaks in every setting across the province. The app works slightly differently on Android and Apple devices and on Android devices it can run in the background. On Apple devices at the moment uh, the device must be open in order for the app to collect the non-identifying ID when it's close to other phones. Uh, this is something that Apple is aware of and they're working on a fix to software and so we anticipate that this is something that will be resolved in the future going forward. And for the current moment, there are certain steps that have been articulated when people do download the app with respect to uh, how to safeguard privacy and how to be considering uh, where to keep their phone to make sure that any kind of safeguard that they can put in place is in place, uh, recognizing that this is an inconvenience. Again, a fix is underway. With respect to the questions about the app not working, certainly uh, there was some issues with a challenge in getting a confirmation code, uh, but that has been resolved. I believe that was resolved the same day that the app launched. Uh, so anyone who did try to download and had an issue with the confirmation code uh, can now get that code um, and that, that issue has been solved. So I guess in terms of the question about whether or not uh, the timing of the app launch, we know that contact tracing will be a cornerstone of our ability to move forward to consider not just the uh, challenges that COVID presents, but also the challenges that our public health measures have presented to Albertans. So putting pieces in place that help us to make sure that Albertans who potentially have been exposed to COVID get as accurate and timely a notification as they can so they can both protect themselves and others has been important and we, we have been working to make sure that the methods that we put in place to do that are the methods that support again the majority of Albertans and we are looking forward to again this fix that is coming uh, to make it more convenient for Albertans who are using uh, Apple products. I think that it's important to know that people who are asymptomatic um, within an outbreak setting have a much higher risk of having been exposed or those who are close contacts of a confirmed case. 
And so doing tests in that context can again help us with early diagnosis. But this is not representative of the total number of people in the general population who might be ill and not have symptoms. So we have been doing testing in hospital settings, in a select number of hospitals across the province, when people are admitted, uh, even if they have no COVID symptoms, just again to sample in the general population. And at this point, there are over 800 tests that have been done on people with no COVID symptoms, and not a single one has tested positive. So I think it's really important when you hear stats about asymptomatic cases, that you know that cases in the general population um, or people in the general population who have no symptoms are much less likely to have COVID than those who've been in close contact or are part of an outbreak setting.